I'm Tassiana Bienemy, and thank you for watching this edition of Sun TV News. The traffic department of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force during the course of this week staged several operations along various sections of Providenciales and prosecuted a number of persons for a number of violations. At one point during the operation, the traffic cops were joined by Commissioner Colin Farquhar. Farquhar told reporters that the exercise formed part of the police's visibility in the communities and ensured that our roads are safe. Well, we're just out here doing a traffic enforcement uh, initiative. The traffic enforcement team often comes out and conducts uh, random checks for looking for driver's licenses and making sure everybody has their insurance. And uh, today we're, they're also conducting a speed check to make sure that people are following the speed limits. And they've been conducting these operations throughout the community this morning and this afternoon. And so it's just making sure people are compliant and following the rules. Well, I think everybody's aware of the non-compliance of the, of the traffic rules here in Providencialis, especially. Not so much in Grand Turk and, and some of the other family islands, but especially in Providencialis. And as I explained earlier, is Providencialis used to be a small community and nobody was too concerned about the traffic controls and the traffic enforcement. But this is no longer a small community. It's a large community and we need to uh, make sure that everybody is compliant and follows the rules. Because what ends up happening is people don't know what to do at a stop sign or what to do at a roundabout because they've never been compliant before and it causes a lot of confusion and people don't know who has the right of way and so it's about uh, not only ensuring that everybody's following the rules and regulations but to remind people of what the rules and regulations are so often when they get pulled over to the side it's not just a matter of issuing the tickets it's all to also to explain to them the purpose of why they were stopped and and the importance of being compliant. In the meantime, Inspector Eben Caesar, officer on the ground, said that many motorists were cited for a number of traffic offenses, including driving without driver's licenses, driving without registration, and speeding. Most of the violations are like unlicensed driving, uh, motor using motor vehicle without insurance, and of course, speeding also. You know, um, unlicensed vehicles also. Uh, it seems as a uh, without a doubt, those are the top of what of offenses. The, there, there has been an increase in um, um, pro improper registration plates. That, are, that is, a lot of people have been covering their plates with uh, plastic material, which is darkening the, 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 the color, which should be red, red marking with white background. Now, all you're seeing is dark. You know, so that's also an offense, and that that has been increasing a lot. So we've been dealing with a, a lot of drivers with that. Uh, it appears it appears as though a lot of drivers didn't know. So for the last, the previous month or so, we've been giving a lot of warnings. But from this week, there won't be any warnings for that. Caesar said that offenders of these violations could face the courts or be ticketed to pay fines. The penalty is for the penalty. For unlicensed vehicle, that is um, that is two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and it's it's been so for a while. That's ticketable, right? The court, the unlicensed driving, using motor vehicle without insurance, those are not ticketable. Those are taken to the court, so offenders will be summoned. They will be warned of intended prosecution, and also summons. Now, it is for the magistrate in court to decide. Um, what penalty he is going to give them, but the magistrate now um, mostly an unlicensed driving. I think it's uh, two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and using motor vehicle without insurance three hundred and fifty dollars most of the time. Yeah. So um, break, br breaking the law is expensive. Yesterday, all we issued about. 59 plus tickets, uh, but 39 um, persons were warned of intended prosecution, and there are like 20 something plus to produce their documents, which most of the time they will fail to produce because they don't have any in the first place. So all those, well, are offenders in the waiting. For a license, for your driver's license, to produce a driver's license, you get like five days. Your insurance, two days. I'm Tassiana Bienemy and thank you for watching this edition of Sun TV News.